Um, my question to you is, how involved are you going to be going forward with the website? Uh, I'm, at the moment, uh, as a mentor, I, I just love the idea of something like this. And when Monish came to me, I, I readily agreed you know, to be a part of it. We'll work out the modalities of how I'm going to be participating in this in the years to come. But for the moment, let's just say that uh, I really enjoyed um, mentoring, in a sense, uh, what Monish has been uh, bringing forward. Uh, it's something that uh, I'm sure any of any of you who have children, who have uh, who are parents, would love to get involved in. And one of the one of the most beautiful things that I liked about this was the fact that this was an interactive, a, a coordinated effort. It's not just something that I wish to put out. It's taking in inputs from mothers, from parents, from teachers, going to schools, asking them questions, and then putting it all together into one package. And that really was very attractive to me. So uh, I'm sure as we go along, I, uh, we do hope that uh, if you do have any suggestions, if you feel that there are things that can be incorporated in this, we would very warmly welcome it. Monish, I have a question for you. Yes, ma'am. Um, what kind of safeguards do you have for, I, I'm presuming this is something that you uh, log into and subscribe to. Uh, yes. Like we would for a Facebook or a Twitter and have profiles. No, so you, sorry. You would log in through Facebook or no, Twitter? No, no, no. Okay. Not log in through, but the way we do for That's Facebook correct. and Twitter. Uh, what safeguards do you have for, um, you know, so you make sure that there are only kids logging into this and not adults posing as kids? Correct. So, good question. So, the first is, uh, you know, you need, you need a parent's email ID. We have one subscriber. We've got, yeah, I think so. I was just, <laughs> yeah. I actually looked at it and maybe we have one. So, uh, you know, the first thing is you cannot activate the account without confirmation from a parent first. Second is like we said, uh, we are actually, we have devised an entire backend in terms of technology where we do understand what is being spoken of and how the behavior of each, of each, each user is, right? So that's what is going to help us do that. The, the, the sensitive place is actually the chat. Right? The sensitive place is not something else. The sensitive place is actually the chat. So let's say, for example, if both of us are users, right? And uh, suppose if you ask me, so where do you stay? Your message will never come. Or I, I write something which says 98210, message will never come. Right? What's your mama's name? Message will never come. Right? So that's the same. These are just sensitive things that you know, sometimes we want to prevent. Uh, you would also do that. I mean, you would not want to give your mobile number out. You would not want to give details about your family. Uh, well, you know, with all due respects, we are living in a world which is getting more and more critical and more sensitive to these issues. And how wonderful if we can inculcate that in a child at that age group. So that by the time they grow up, they're already aware of what's going on. 